some teachers just really get on my nerves, you know? I don't know what planet they're on, but they definitely are just built different. Here's an example. When you need to go to the toilet, you politely put your hand up and say, Miss, can I go to the toilet? No, you should have gone at lunch. I'm sorry, Karen, but I can't control my bladder. You know, at lunch, when I'm eating and drinking, it gets digested, and then later on, I need to go to the toilet. It will take me five minutes at max. Probably not even five minutes. Considering our lessons are like an hour long, I'm sure that's not too much of an issue, is it? And then sometimes they're just like, OK, but you need to wait until so-and-so gets back. I need to go to the toilet. I don't care about talking to anyone. I want to go to the toilet. I don't care about that. What do you think we're going to do in there? Just sit and chat for the rest of the lesson? No. And then they're like, don't want you having a bit of a mother's meeting in there. Oh, my God. And the scariest thing in school is when they put the... the I can't even say it. The name on the board. Ah! Is it just me? Like, when you're watching YouTube or, like, anything that has adverts, and an advert pops up, and it's just like, Raven's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. It's like, no! I don't want Grammarly! I can write! I can read! I don't need this! And then it has the audacity to be like, Are you sure you want to skip this advert? Yes, I'm sure I want to skip it! I'm pretty sure my parents have very selective hearing. I would be there minding my own business, doing my own thing, right? And then I would hear my mom screaming my names from the bottom of the stairs. So I would go like, what? Really loudly. And so many times, but she literally wouldn't be able to hear me. Then I would have to go down and my mom would just be there asking, oh, what are you doing? But when it's like 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm calling my friends, whispering, barely making a sound, basically just breathing, she would already be storming to my bedroom, half asleep, yelling at me to shut up. How does this work? Tell me why people in my class are so energetic at like 8am in the morning. Okay, they're all laughing, having fun, whilst I look like an ugly rat. They're looking fresh as a daisy, just come out the freaking shower. And I look like, I don't know, I haven't slept in months. I also get cranky in the morning because they, stupid school, and my alarm interrupted my lovely dream with Shrek. Oh. If someone ever asks me, like, oh, what's your toxic trait? Bro, my immediate answer is I get so mad when I'm hungry. An example is, like, me and my family, we used to have universal season passes. And every single time we went, you're busy. You're not eating because, like, you don't want to eat before you go on a roller coaster. I don't know. Some people can stomach that, but I can't. So it's like I don't eat for, like, the whole day, hours on end. So it's like by the time that it's, like, five, six, I get so upset so easily. Like, if one little thing goes wrong, I will throw a fit. And I know that sounds so bad. But it's like, I don't know what happened. Something inside of me changes, okay? So if someone comes up to me, when I'm hungry, I'm just like, please go away. Like, don't talk to me because I'm going to say something that will offend you. It's a different type of anger. Okay, but can we just talk about dress codes? Like, honestly, it's really not that deep if I'm wearing two earrings and one ear. Nobody is going to be distracted by an ear. And school visitors are definitely not going to come up to me. And the first thing they say is that I look unprofessional with my second piercing in. Okay, so obviously we all know being around, like, a guy that you like and, like, hoping that he thinks you're cool is, like, so nerve-wracking and gives you a bunch of anxiety. But you know what's worse that we never talk about? Being around a girl that you really want to be friends with and you're like, oh my god, I can't, like, does she think I'm cool? Because you think she's, like, so cool and you want to be her friend so bad, but you don't want to come off, like, desperate. So you're like... That is so much more nerve-wracking than guys. Guys, it's like, okay, whatever. Girls, it's like, please be my friend. Please. So I'm not allowed to hold my sister's baby anymore because the one time I held it, I dropped it. It, it wasn't even, okay, it wasn't even like a big deal. It was an accident, right? But then she starts screaming at me. She calls the cops. She says I did it on purpose, blah, blah, blah. All the while, of course, I'm denying it and stuff like that. But the real question is, who brings a baby to the Grand Canyon? <laughs> We're kidding. My sister doesn't have any kids. Not anymore.
Did anybody else used to work in Roblox? I don't mean work for Roblox. I mean, like, work in the Roblox games. Because there was a moment in my life where I was working at cafes, hotels. I was even working in the army. There was even a point that I was working in elementary school. I didn't really have a lot of friends back then, so the role-playing games gave me a lot of escape. Especially Kingdom Life 2. That went hard. Sometimes my friend says, You know what? You have to stop overthinking. And I'm like, Aww. You know, I do thing because I love it. I like it. I can't stop loving it. So what can I do? And she's like, seriously? And I'm like, you stupid. Why would I overthink if it's within my control? You guys ever raise your hand in class, or like go up to the teacher's desk to ask a question and you ask them like what you need help with and they're like, well, what do you think? I don't know. What do you mean, what do I think? Why do you think I'm walking up to your desk? I swear to God, this is my math teacher. Every single day I walk up to her desk, I'm like, Hey, how do you do this part of the equation? And she's like, okay, well, what is negative 9 minus 5? I don't know. Just explain it. I came up to you to ask a question. Answer the question. I hate it when teachers pull this out of their derriere. Just explain. Just explain it. Thank you. Did you ever find yourself in a situation like when you tease or insult your sibling? Like, one time, I remember, I was insulting my sibling. Like, what kind of personality do you have? Are you stupid or what? And at that moment, his friend was like, yeah, he's so stupid. And he also started making fun of my brother. I was like, hold on, hold on. Excuse me? What did you say? Like, of course, only I can make fun of my brother. <laughs> like, sorry, yes. Okay, I'm sitting here. I'm about to start doing my homework. It's a sign. Why do teachers assign homework on the weekend? You know damn well they are not looking at that computer, that laptop the whole weekend. They do not. It just bothers me because it's like, I know damn well you're not doing any work. So why are you assigning me work to do over the weekend, babe? Like, if you're not going to be working, why are you going to bother assigning me work? It's ridiculous. Meanwhile, you can't even get my quiz that I took two weeks ago in the grade book. I swear to God, it's like every single teacher, they grade work at the last second. Okay, did you ever have a friend with whom your sense of humor perfectly aligns? Like, for example, for me, like me and my friend both burst out laughing at the same lame joke at the same time. Like, oh, our vibe is so freaking strong. We are mad. Like, others can't understand why the heck we are laughing so hard. Like, it's like we have a secret langu language. Laughter that leaves everyone puzzled. Like, yeah, it's like that. Let's talk about two friendships. And all two, I'm like, it's my way or it's highway. If I'm saying this, it's going to happen. Another one is super reliable. She's like, count one, two, three, I'll be there. And like, she's solving all of our trouble. And there's the last one who's actually, actually causing all that trouble. So yes, we are like that, a mix of different personalities. I think most of the trios are like that. Ever had a teacher like this? Like, they are all chill, like, ask me anything a million times if needed. So I was like, let me ask a question. I didn't understand it. And I was like, ma'am, could you please explain this again? And she was like, oh my God, are you genius in not understanding it? And I was like, okay, I misunderstood. <laughs> Sorry. Have you ever experienced a situation like this? So let me share my case. Like uh, I have a brother and whenever I am annoyed, I just playfully give him a little tap and he doesn't mind at all. And he's like, okay, so what? But he's so chill but oh my god oh my god if he does to give me a tiny tap on my back i just quickly turn into like mom calling machine shouting mom mom he hit me <laughs> so isn't it funny how we react differently to the same situation had a friend like this for example i have a friend so i asked her a question like what's your favorite food and she replies everything and i was like okay and what's your hobbies and she was like i don't have any and i was like okay it can can be possible then i asked about her mbti type and she was like uh i don't know and i was like what with your terrible answers are you alien or what then then i just suddenly mentioned that the world is collapsing and she was like oh okay 
So what? What can I do? And I was like, wow, you took the carelessness to the extreme. So, in this big world, we got all sorts of characters, like let's dive into the ones who claim to be procrastinators. But, but, but seriously, finish your assignments before the clock strikes the line. I mean, come on, seriously, bro. Like, what does that make me then? A pro maxi pro crap crazy nato getting things into gear just one hour before it's all due. Like a oh, please, a oh, thank you. What is it? Does it ever happen to you guys? Like for example, I was alone in my classroom. I was thinking that today my best friend is absent. Okay, so now what will I do? As uh, I'm an introvert and I can't talk. Um, okay, I'm going to go today and I was like, oh and and that exact moment, door opens, and my best friend enters, and she was like, hello, and I was like, yay, and I realized at that moment that she was just late, not absent, thank god. Oh, what? I don't want nothing. What did you do? Nothing, why? What was that thump? That was my foot, see? Oh my god, mom! Come here! 